good example here of um, needing prerequisites in order to justify the movements that we're doing. A lot of people want to push weight over their head. They want to do military presses, do, let's say, pull-ups and, and uh, things like this. And the one thing that is actually usually ignored is whether or not the person has the capacity to use the shoulder to put their arm over their head. If I ask my patient here to bring his shoulder into flexion, stop right about there. What you'll start to notice right about that point is that if I ask him to force any more shoulder flexion, you'll see that the shoulder flexion is occurring by increasing lordosis at the lumbar spine. In other words, we have a block in shoulder flexion to about there, and then in order to get the shoulder to flex further, the shoulder no longer flexes, now we start to extend at the lumbar spine. This is a really common finding. We get a lot of people into the, uh, the, the clinic with chronic low back pain, uh, and unbeknownst to them, the reason is, is because they're lacking any kind of shoulder flexion. You imagine putting weight over your head and then flexing back, let's say if you're doing a snatch or if you're trying to do a catch uh, up above your head. If this is your scenario, 100% of the force of the weight is gonna come right down into this TL junction. Uh, oftentimes we'll see overdevelopment of TL junction in these scenarios, and that's all tracing back to the lack of prerequisite of shoulder flexion. Start to correct their lumbar spine extension, we see that their maximum shoulder flexion is there. Now what does this mean in the gym? It means that this particular client should be selecting exercises from here down. He's able to push forward and bench press, he's able to do some incline work, but what he should not do is make believe that he has enough shoulder flexion to withstand the stressors of snatching, overhead pressing, which in this particular case will put 100% of the onus on the lumbar spine in order to balance that weight above their head.